Hey man, I have been on a mission for the past couple weeks. I have done a ton of research, visited several beaches, went through trial and error, all to try to catch my very first pompano that is a keeper, but it, up until this point, it has not exactly worked out. I have caught some smaller pompano, and we've caught a bunch of different other things in the surf, which is cool. Like, I like catching stuff in the surf. The fish is a fish, but I, dude, I would do things to be able to catch and keep my first pompano and do a little catch and cook. They're supposed to have nice, buttery, just delicious meat. This is my first ever like fall down here fishing for pompano or just fishing in general. So I've been learning a lot of stuff. There is a lot that goes into surf fishing. The issue is that the weather and just like the ocean conditions have not been very good. And that's kind of the same today. I don't know if you guys can see, this is kind of murky-ish. Hopefully it clears up a little bit. There's actually a good amount of people out on the pier. But I figured, you know what, if we cannot catch a pompano in the surf, might as well try the pier. We are out here with a rod, a reel, and a dream. All right, let's get out there, man. All right, so I'll give you all a peep at the water clarity. Here's the beach. It's a freaking gorgeous day, but you can kind of see it's like sandy and not very clear. I've been learning that when it's like this, you kind of want to fish the outgoing tide because it'll kind of clean this up a little bit. Here's a look at the pier. It's definitely been more busy. Like it's not the busiest I've ever seen it. There are some people out here. All right, so we have two rods out here. A lot of the times I come out here with only one rod and I don't know why I do that. You can have up to three, but I don't really have three good pier rods. Even this one's like a little small. All right, so on the smaller rod, we are just going to do something like this. It's pretty much what we've been doing from the surf, but we're just gonna do it from the pier. So this is a pompano rig. You guys have seen me use these before. It's like a high-low rig, and they have little pill floats on them. Little fish bites, that is, I think, sand flea flavor, and then a little piece of shrimp. We're just gonna throw right here. I think I actually wanna keep going down a little more. There we go, first fish of the day. We got. <laughs> uh, no, this is actually my first fish. Right. How about you? Uh, I caught a pretty decent black drum. Oh, yeah? Yeah, no, it's Better than this little baby right here? <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit bigger. Nice, man. Yeah. Man, good, man. Hey, appreciate it, man. Thanks for watching. Yeah. All right, cool. So, that is the first fish of the day. Oh, he's got something weird. Do you see that on his tail? These dudes are always so cool because of like a. Uh, can you see it right there? Where's the sun? See the little whiskers on the bottom? When they get big, they get mean. They get these big freaking whiskers. Pretty cool. A lot of people mistake these for a little sheep's head, but little baby, black drum. Get back down there. Cool. All right, so that bit on the smaller rod and on the pompano rig. Bro, these shrimp are cracked out. I'll have to show you here on my right bigger rod, we actually have a uh, live shrimp that's just chilling down there right by the piling. Literally, this time of the year, anything could bite that. I was debating on throwing another pompano rig on that rod, but we just went with that for now. And I had a float rig that I might have put on, but one thing about these shrimp I've been learning, see this thing right there? That is their horn. Dude, that is like legit. You know Pokemon horn attack, horn drill, whatever? This thing freaking... That thing will get you. The other day I was fishing, I got this big bag of uh, fresh dead shrimp. It's just like cheaper to get a bunch of them. And I kept reaching in to get them. They weren't even alive. They, they were poking the heck out of me, man. It was like a freaking pin cushion. All right, let's get this back out there. Again, not exactly target species, but we will take it. As always, a fish is a fish. line out. I've been seeing some people catch some stuff around me. Nothing like big, but a little flounder, which they're actually out of season now, and a uh, another black drum. Alright. Put this right here. I always feel like I don't know why. I feel like I get bit more when I'm not holding the rod. Okay. I was getting a little nervous because I, after doing much research, oh, this just got bit. This 
just got bit. So you can catch pompano when the water's dirty, but they're sight feeders. So the best time to do it is when you have clear water, but the best time to fish is when you can fish. Sometimes you just don't got the clear water. It's been very murky and extremely rough around these areas. And dude, I'm getting little nips right there, you saw that? The rest of this week's actually supposed to be like really rough, so we're getting our fishing in today. Hopefully we can do something the rest of the week. That is a good sign to see though. He's down a little bit further. There's definitely fish here. We're kind of like in this second trough. Definitely nipping the shrimp. I don't know what this is. I'm surprised that wasn't waiting, dude. These past couple times I've been out trying to freaking catch a pompano on the beach, it's been waiting palooza. Here is the other rig. I actually just upgraded our weight on here. So we have live shrimp, hook, leader. Not too long of a leader because it's not very clear down there. And then this is a 1.5 ounce little egg weight. We got a little bit smaller one, but this should hold better. Yeah, you too, brother. You want a piece of candy? Yeah, sure. Yeah, why not? I hey, appreciate it, man. Yeah, Happy no Halloween, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care what you say, this is the goat. And, uh... Oh, yeah. Twix and Nerds Cluster slash Nerds Rope. Top two. By the way, Happy Halloween to y'all, man. Today's actually um, Halloween, and I'm fishing out on the pier. So that was cool. Yeah, we're definitely getting... It's like tap, tap, tap. I cast this out pretty far this time. We don't really want to get tap, tapped. We want to get pop. Anybody home? I'm debating on moving down further because I did see some people maybe 20, 30, 40 yards away. One or two of them hooked a pompano. Not anything big, but Maybe they are out a little bit further. I kind of, as I said, strategically chose this spot. Oh, I'm getting bit. I am getting freaking bit. Oh, oh, oh. That was a really good bite right there. Just freaking eat it, man. Hello? I should have brought a freaking sabiki, dude. Okay, there we go. Oh. oh, I got one. We got one. All right, this is not a freaking keeper for sure, but that is one. All right. We freaking are on the board, baby. Whoa. Oh my gosh, dude, look at this pompano. He literally, look at that bite in him. Dude, that is a legit freaking bite from something. I have no clue what that guy got. Oh, jeez. You've been through enough trauma here. I don't know what that guy got bit from. All right, that's a huge freaking step right there. There's one. Oh, it's still a little bit smaller. Oh, it's getting bigger though, maybe. Oh, I've actually never caught one of these. That is so cool. So this is not, I don't know what the difference is. This is not like the normal kind of pompano we've been catching. I think these are called pal, palm, palometa. Look how cool that is. All right, hold on, let me take them off. Ow. So you can kind of see these dudes have like those crazy fins. Super cool catch. Again, that is not a keeper slash eater, but we're getting bit right when this goes in the water. We might be in a school or something. I've been trying to cast this other rod. 
but this one just keeps getting knocked. Come on. We just need a big old Papa Pompano to come on through. If you guys, if only you knew the war I've been having with these freaking fish, man. So many days I spent out on beaches, so many hours recently. Like literally different beaches, beach to beach to beach. Just trying to find this one fish. There were like a ton of reports at the time that um, a bunch of people were getting them at the pier and stuff, but I just, I, I had this thing in me, I was like, dude, I need to catch one from the beach. We caught some, but no keepers. We gotta play on the live trim, dude. Oh my god. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Dude, that was a big sheep's head. What the heck? Oh my god, dude, that was a keeper sheep head. Oh my gosh. Drop it right down near that piling again. Maybe his homie will hit it. Big rod. Oh gosh, what is that? Oh no, it's on the piling. Oh, get off the piling. Oh my god. Big redfish. Oh yeah. Whew. There we go. That's exactly what I was after. Let's freaking go, man. Right after we missed that sheep's head on the piling. Look at that. Ooh, nice freaking fish. I haven't really been able to target these fish much because we haven't been able to get out on the kayak because of this freaking foot. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That is so sick. He bit hard too. Would you mind if I uh, use your cooler as a measure real quick? Go ahead. Thank you. 18. All right, redfish. Yeah, it's like 15. What's that? Oh, this. Redfish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, live shrimp. Here's one thing I will always say, man. It's not always the most fun thing to do, and it definitely takes time up, and you know, when the fish are biting, you don't always want to do it. Make sure if your line rubbed on some teeth, rubbed on some rocks, rubbed on a piling, like if you feel like your line's a little bit damaged at all, just change your leader. Oh, uh, yeah, sure, if you're gonna appreciate it. What is that? Come here on. 
the pompano rig. All right, this might be what's biting us. I'm not exactly sure. But we, every time we cast out this pompano rig, we are just getting obliterated. And this could be the culprit. I'm not mad about it. I like these dudes. A lot of times they remind me of the bluegill of the ocean. Ow, 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 ow. Just because it seems like a lot of time they're there when other fish aren't. Whether water's murky, whether it's clear, no matter what bait you're using. All right, there we go. Boom. Nice waiting. Oh, wait, oh there he goes. Back in the water. Right away, look at that. That's crazy. Could just be a big school of these little dudes. Or I think it might be just a mix. Can I just say though, this is like, this is so cool. <laughs> to be out here at a pier like this and just cast it into the ocean. The fun thing about fishing is you never know what's gonna happen, but oh my gosh. Whoa, 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 whoa. And just like I was saying, you never know what you can catch. I think that's a trout, dude. Oh my god, this is not the rod that I should... Or is that a bluefish? I think it's a trout. Oh! Dude. Rest in peace. That rig was doing good. This is a uh, definitely lighter line than I should be using on a pier like this. That was a freaking trout. That is very sad. Whoa. See, I'm not gonna lie, that's an issue that I run into sometimes. Whether it's the pier, the beach. For fishing, you need a lot of different kinds of gear. You can't really bring giant, oh, that was a nice bite right there. Really shouldn't be fishing with like giant, giant surf rods out on the pier, but you don't want, like, this is a little bit probably too late. There's a fish. The heck is that? By the way, we just put another pump and a rig on here. That is okay. <laughs> Dude, they're here. They are freaking here. We just need uh, to get out of the daycare a little bit. Got the tiny, that's the tiniest pompano I ever caught. Please go tell your auntie. Tell her there's some nice juicy shrimp hooks over here. Hold on. This just went running. All right. The fact that we're even hooking them, this is crazy. Oh boy, I think I just got us all tangled here. Chill, 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 chill. chill. Right, another pomp. Just not big enough. They need to be bigger than that. And we just got all tangled. Frick, man. Another one, but another baby. We're really getting them, though. If you're not aware, I talked about this in a recent video, but these fish, although being pretty, they are very tasty as well, and there's actually, like, the most expensive eating fish, I believe, you can buy, at least around here. Very, very pricey. I've never had it before. Definitely wouldn't mind giving it a shot. You hear that, Ocean? Oh. Oh. Hold on a second. Oh no, big, is that a bluefish? Dang it. Come off. There he goes. Let's go. I don't want to break my rig trying to get that. That was a big blue fish, and we still have our hooks and everything. Sick. Perfecto. Oh boy. Literally just threw this in there. Dude, freaking Pompano double up? But where's the big one? Dang it. 
I mean, this is fun, don't get me wrong. Never want to complain about a double pompano hookup. Oh no, is this a jack? Oh, that's a jack. Wow. Nah, you want it? Is it legal? Um, I think this is a Jack. Jack Craval. I don't think they're very good eating, they say. I feed this cat, man. With them. Yeah? Yeah, can I have him? Yeah. Cool. Um, let me just get this out. Yeah, heck yeah, I appreciate man. appreciate it, man. Thank yeah, you for sure. All right, well, that was an interesting catch. Right as the baits hit the water. These little thieves. That was a lot of fun. I actually caught a lot more smaller pompano that I didn't put in this video. We actually like destroyed them, but still looking for that big boy or girl. I think the count is up to five times going out trying to film a video catching pompano. You guys did not see any of those videos. I think three different beaches, but no odd uh, keeper pompano. Again, the, the weather has just been kind of iffy and the rest of the week is gonna be super windy and just not the best, but gotta work with what you got. And I've also had some setbacks uh, with the foot. Probably all that beach fishing doesn't help on the sand and stuff, but yeah, we're, uh, yeah. Mark my words though, we will catch a freaking keeper pompano. We will try that buttery meat and it will be delicious, man. As always, thank y'all so much for all the freaking support. All I gotta say, man, is let's keep this rolling. Thank y'all for watching. See you next you video.